Those of us who may be a little bit too square or too old to really identify with all the young people who came here to the Isle of Wight spend a lot of time trying to find significance in things like this. It may be that the only real significance is that a hundred thousand people wanted to come here to listen to music, try to live together for a few days in peace and gentleness, and did it. This is Bill Butel, ABC News at the Isle of Wight. Thank you very much. Thank you. As she runs down the train next morning, with a hand inside a bit of
Sullivan County Airport and find out how many people people are involved, whether we need two Ranger jets or what we need. Uh, I'm going to find out today, yes, thank you. Uh, chopper on uh, pad one, over pad one, now, how many people are going to be picked up, you know? Uh, no response. Okay, try to landline Sullivan County. Uh, when you do that, they're on the air con, the helicopters will copy. Very close. Uh, you need uh, five? Yeah, you can spare it. We need five. We went to the they air station by the hog farm. And our well, people are walking around. They have one at the hog farm. Oh, right? One, yeah, one was stolen last night. Out. No, no. The hospital by the police station. You know the hospital there? Yeah. That has, I was there just about an hour ago. No communications there at all. They need one. Okay. And these will supply out of the ones I'm asking you for. Yeah. You know, we'll, we'll work on a lesser amount to get our people around with it. All right, so we're talking about the, uh, the, the pig farm hospital. The pig farm itself. Yeah, the pig okay. farm itself, the hospital. And then beast communications, our set up. Beast communications, all right. And we have people out running around taking care of uh, accidents or trouble or anything right. like that. Has the difficulty up on the, on the concession, is that over? Yeah, it was a minor sort of a situation, and people worked it out, and uh, everything's cool. Okay. Okay, so uh, get the radio man if there's any question about the radios. Tell him that he can have, you can have five of the portables, and he wants confirmation to come and see me. Right, okay. Yeah. Thanks, Tom. Right. Well, he only has four. Kevin, well, yeah. uh... The situation here has been described by some as out of control. Well, I think it depends on your point of view. Uh, in our estimation, uh, when you get this many people together in this kind of an area, with the kind of restricted traffic movements we have, uh, it uh, is sometimes irritating. People sometimes blow steam a little bit. But uh, in my observation, being here from the beginning, people having a good time, those who are here, we wish to God no one else would come. Because we've reached our saturation point. We can't take any more people, nor can the highways, nor can the transportation systems. Who is basically your security force? Security force are made up of policemen from all over the state of New York. The city, uh, was that quite a blow when the city said they can't give you any of their policemen? It was a problem, but uh, this problem has been resolved. We have, we have other pe people to take their place. Does it anger you when you hear that uh, some of wild charges that security is completely broken down? How can you be angry at ignorance? What, what was it you were saying? No, I just wanted to mention that there haven't been this many, peop many people put together in this kind of space for this kind of scene in the history of the United States. And I don't think traditional police methods would have handled it. Uh, you you need practically an army in order to handle a group like this. Traditional method. In other words, That's right. Depend on the kids themselves. That's right. It's it's inducing and generating a, a spirit of cooperation within the group themselves. The music is wonderful. I have two teenage daughters and I hear it all the time. It doesn't bug me. People with long hairs and beards don't bug me. People who are rotten inside bug me. But. Uh... Would you say most of the cops across the country are bugged by uh, long-haired hippies? I think uh, anyone with a different lifestyle and a different appearance uh, would bother people who are conservative by nature. And I think the population as a whole is fairly conservative. But uh, there's bad hippies and there's bad straights. So all in all, you, you're saying that it's somewhat, uh, if anything, it sounds almost remarkable that it's being pulled off. I think it's very remarkable, and it's coming off only because the people here, the people attending it, want it to come off. We've got people from the hog farm group from Arizona flown in. They're helping us cool it. We've got other sub-professionals like Fillmore East who are working with the policemen. 
and the policemen themselves who are working here are doing a magnificent job. And if you ever saw a policeman wearing a jacket that said peace on it, or with an emblem like this on the back, then you've seen something different. If it works, uh, and I think it will, uh, I think it's a great scene. The only thing I'm concerned with is we've reached our saturation point. We can't accept more people. Please don't come. Buy the records or go to the next concert, but don't come here. Rolling? Are you rolling? Hold on, Sid. I wasn't Finally, going. This is a mammoth display of a big segment of the young and their music in this country. A segment causing such distance where their music is loud and they smoke pot and they dress weirdly. Also very different, I suppose, from their mothers who once dressed as flappers and their fathers who drank bathtub gin. You, uh, from your standpoint of performing at a huge festival like this? Well, I'll tell you, when, I, when we played the Monterey Pop Festival, uh, it was a couple years ago, and everyone that played really had time to play, you know, and really had time to give their thing to the people that came to hear the music. But a lot of these pop festivals now have are trying to, are being run so tight that people don't really have a chance to stretch out and play for a long time. You know, it's 40 minutes and then off, and then another group, and then another group, you know, and it's very tight, you know, but I like it. I like it. I mean, there's a lot of good feeling here. You know, this is one of the better pop festivals I think they've had. You know. well, do you like to play to uh, a group this large running up to 30,000 people? Sure, sure. 
Why not? There's no difference. It's playing, I mean, it's, you know, it's playing music to more people. That's all. I mean, that's the way I feel about it. I, I really... Well, women, huh? There's been some trouble at uh, a few of the pop uh, festivals, what they call riots, disturbances, difficulties, one thing and another. What do you think uh, brings that about? Why will it happen at one place and not another? Well, I, you know, I, I really don't know. Like we, in Miami, they had a lot of trouble. They broke down the fence and they had a lot of fights and a lot of trouble. I don't know why. I mean, maybe it's just the location. Maybe it's the location in the country that it is, you know, like the one in Atlanta, Georgia, you know, uh, wasn't as happy and open as this one here, you know, or the one that was in Monterey, you know, for some reason, I don't know. I, you, know you think it has it, anything to do with the size of the I audience? I think it has to do a little bit with the size. It has more to do with the way the festival is organized, the way it's set up, you know, and what kind of facilities they have for the for the large amount of people that are coming, you know. I mean, I think it has more to do with that. And when it, an un, you know, a really badly organized pop festival usually has a whole lot of trouble. I mean, and the trouble just stretches out into every, you know, area. You know, I don't really know. I, you know, but that's that's just what's happened at every badly organized pop festival. I've seen a lot of trouble. You know, Miami was that way, and and. And Atlanta, Georgia was that way. This is really smooth. I mean, the, the, what I've seen of it is really smooth. Are you uh, ever worried about being stormed by uh, overzealous uh, admirers? Of, they do move out onto the field, awfully close to the platform, when there are such large numbers. Do you ever uh, get concerned about it? Not really. Not really. You know, I just uh, never really thought about it. You know, I mean, it, it's happened to the group, but not not anything you know not riots or anything it's not like like when the Beatles were in this country people were just you know breaking down things to go go up and get to the Beatles you know nothing like that has happened no <laughs> <laughs> do you think uh, that people over 30 can really appreciate your music yeah yeah I think so you know because uh, I think we do a lot of different kinds of music you know we play some some uh, pop type of things, some blues, you know, some things people would label as jazz, you know. You know we, we do a lot of different kinds of things with the same kind of groove, same kind of feel. With it. I, a lot of people do come to see us, you know, that are in their late 20s. And they're in their late 20s and 30s come and see us, you know. It depends where we are. You know, most of the, the concerts, hey, <laughs> most of the concerts, uh, it's mostly younger, a lot younger people. You know, maybe, but... maybe you can resolve another question for me. We've heard uh, a lot lately about groupies, girls that uh, follow pop groups around, hangers on, and so forth. Uh, do they really exist? Yeah, I'm sure that, yeah, they do exist. And not really in this group, because most of this group is as family, you know, have, as wives, and, and and it's more of ours is sort of a family thing, you know, there's one great big bunch of people that all stay together and all, you know, married and everything, but... Yeah, are these some other members of your group? Why would you introduce them to us? Are you Paul uh, yes. Are you the real Paul Butterfield? Yes. Are you the real Butterfield? Yes. Butterfield? I don't... Butterfield. My name is Butterfield, Rod. anyway. Oh. Who thought of this? Is, this is Rod. Rod. And this is Philip. Hi. Hi. Hey. And this is David. Hi. And this is Buzzy. Hi, it's me here. How are you? Hi. I was just telling him how we're one big happiest one night. I'm real proud to be in Atlantic City. You are? I've always I've, I've, I've been here before for conventions for the market and whatnot, and I've loved it. It's been really lovely. Hi, microphone. Oh, that's all I know how to say. Bashful. Uh, you're not. You're putting your instruments away. You're through for the evening. Is that right. it? We'll play for you right now. Would you? Good. Sure. Okay. Would you like to hear a little music? Would love it. For you, for you Very leave. good. Ready? Okay. Okay.
group of uh, plain clothes uh, officers but with uh, riot sticks and helmets uh, not too long ago why were they brought in just for security to beef up the fences here backstage we had heard that there was an occasion of somebody being clubbed and mace being used uh, that's not true uh, i would know about it if, if that happened what are you most concerned by here just uh the kids from not crawling over the back here and flooding the backstage area this is our main function back here right now. Yeah. Uh, there are, we are told, about 600,000 people here. Is that accurate as far as you know? I haven't heard any figure. Uh, I've just been in several areas on the track. Uh, I don't know. I... We also see occasionally uh, stretchers go by with people on them. Have there been any overdose cases here? Yeah, there's been numerous overdoses, yeah, but not quite as much as uh, we anticipated. About how many and of what, do you know? I don't have any exact figures. Uh, you might check with the medical people. Yeah. What are you going to do about all these people over here? They're sort of festering in the sun. Does that present a kind of an apprehensive problem for you? No, not right now. They were a little bit uh, wilder when we first came about two hours ago. But as soon as we put our sticks away and just started talking with the kids, the majority of them started sitting down and listening to the music kind of a concession you had to make to them to put the sticks away. That's right. So we haven't had any problems uh, since we've been here. And you don't anticipate any? No, we don't. 